Good morning. Welcome to today's episode of Ceramics with Sheriff. Today we're going to go over tools and how we might be able to make some of these tools at home. So clay tools, there's a lot of different tools you can use for a lot of different purposes. We're going to cover the basics. So here I have me a, a little piece of clay. Um, usually when we roll out clay, so you guys will have a rolling pin to roll out clay, it gets a little bumpy or there's a little some chunks on it. We use something like this. It's called a rib. There's rubber ribs, metal ribs that are bendy, and then there's wooden ribs. I really like the metal rib. Um, I also really like this wooden rib. So the, what the ribs do is they smooth, you can use them to smooth the clay out. So this one had a design on it and I'm just using it to kind of smooth this clay out, get rid of any bumps or imperfections. It also compresses the clay and squishes it together. So that's good to make our pieces more uniform. So, see how my piece is nice and smooth now? That's a rib. You know what works good for ribs at home? Old gift cards, old uh, key cards from a hotel, maybe uh, an old credit card. And you can cut the edges and round them off and make them into whatever shape you want. So, that is the rib. Next up, the handy dandy needle tool. So, a lot of people accidentally stab themselves with these, so you have to be careful. But they're just little pointy needles on a stick. And what these are really good for is, if I have this flat sheet of clay, it makes it really easy to cut. It also makes it really easy for a decoration tool. So if I'm drawing on my mug, I can pull the needle through to make indents. If I'm trying to do that, its replacement would just be a dull pencil. So if you guys have a dull pencil at home, that works just as good. Um, if I want to cut with it, a dull pencil probably isn't my best option, but you guys can find something around your house that's going to be sharp and pointy like that. It um, doesn't have to be too sharp. That'll just help you cut pieces. Okay? So that is the needle tool. Tool number three. Different carving tools. So these are great for decorating a surface. Um, what carving tools do is they remove clay. So I have a loop tool and then these ribbon tools. So what they do is you pull them through clay and it takes away clay. So this one doesn't work as well as those because it's so tiny. But here, see how it removes that piece of clay? This one does the same thing but bigger chunks. Okay, so carving tools remove clay. Um, basically, they're just a little metal tip on top of a stick. So, hmm, paper clips? I could tape, tape a paper clip to a pencil and make a little round loop on it and use that the same way I would use these. I could squeeze the paper clip to make a little V to look more like that one. So there's endless ways to do that. Next up wooden modeling tool. Um, this is great. It's not great for cutting. If I try to cut with it, it just kind of squishes the clay. But what it is good for is making impressed lines or um, let's say I'm working on a mug and I attach my handle, but my fat fingers can't get in those little creases around the handle to smooth it out. This guy replaces that for me. So I can just go around the edges of the handle, smooth that out with its little pointing tip. An easy way to replicate this tool, you can take a popsicle stick. It does the same thing. If you wanna get really fancy, you can take a popsicle stick and cut the round top off it at an angle and then you'll have a pointy edge just like this one. Okay, wooden modeling tool. Brush, we all know what a brush is for, but we'll go over that in a second. You guys will have a little baby brush for me, not a big fluffy one like this. And then last tool, so number five, scoring tool. So it's a bunch of little wires on a tool. So we use that one for slipping and scoring. So let's say I have the edge of something here. I don't know what I'm making, I'm just gonna do an example. Let's say I'm trying to make an elephant's head and this is his snout. I don't think that's the right word for it, but it's the morning. I haven't had enough coffee yet. All right, slipping and scoring. 
If I take two pieces of clay, smash them together, and I say, look, Sheriff, they're stuck together. They're going to stick that way. Not going to work. It's the water that's holding them together right now because they're sticky. When they dry and there's no more moisture in them, they're going to go like this. They're going to fall apart. So if you don't slip and score, you're going to be a sad person once your project dries. So what I do, and I have a little trick for this, um, I skip slip. I score, and this is my secret, so don't tell people about this. So I score both. So what I do is I drag all those little needles down and then I drag them across like a plus sign. And then I just take a tiny bit of water on my finger or on my paintbrush, put them on both, and I score again. And that magically turns itself into slip. Who would have thought? So, once I do that, then I can press my two pieces together. So you, I wanna hold the inside, hold the outside, and really squish them together. Make sure they're stuck. And then I wanna smooth around the outside. So once again, if my fingies are too fat, that's when this tool comes in handy. And I can go around the edge there and really smooth that out where my fingers can't reach, okay? So that's the scoring tool. We slip and score by scoring, add some water, score again, and it turns into slip on itself. So those are our five tools. We have Mr. Rib, credit card. Needle tool, you figure that out. Don't hurt yourself, please. Carving tools, uh, paper clip, maybe duct taped or taped onto something. Or you can just hold the paper clip. Wooden modeling tool, take a popsicle stick, cut it if you can. Scoring tool, um, five toothpicks taped together work great for this. So if you can get a bunch of toothpicks and tape them together or just hold them together, they work really awesome for that. So those are our tools, that's your assignment. You have to make all five of them. I will give you a brush. A brush also works good, I could dip it in water and use that to smooth around the seam of my attachments and stuff to really get all of that clay smooth together. Okay, so that's our clay tools for the, today. Um, this is an example of something where I carved my lines in with the needle tool. So I didn't carve them, I scratched them in, and then I painted it with underglaze, which we won't have yet. I'll give you guys black, and then I can scratch through it, and you guys can see it reveals the white. Okay? Just like this one, I used underglaze. I didn't do a great job on this one. You can see the little alien guy. Um, I painted it and then I, with underglaze, and then I carved through it. Um, it's a method called Scraffito that shows me the color of the clay when I carve through. All right, other than that, cool thing about ceramics is you might always need a tool that you don't know you need. Um, <clears throat> and the coolest thing is you find stuff around your house and they work great for that. Sorry, Mr. Plant. So the dull pencil, great for drawing and doing designs, okay? You can sharpen it a little bit more to get finer points. This is one of my favorite, the old handy dandy screwdriver. Um, I was doing a series where I had like stars in the sky and I couldn't get my stars all the same and it was bothering me. And then I realized, Mr. Screwdriver, if you just poke it in the surface, you can impress these perfect little stars, different sizes, depending on how much I squish it in there, into the clay. So this has become one of my favorite tools. Another one, if I want a perfect hole, a drill bit works amazing. So just like you would have in your garage for wood, all you do is you hold that drill bit. You don't push it through, you twist it, just like you would with a drill. And you guys can see how it's removing clay as I go. And then I'll take that out. And that makes the most perfect hole. And then this guy, it's just like a little rubber tip that I can use to smooth little lines out. Um, I found a dull pencil works great for that, just as good. So sometimes, and especially if we do a project with impressing, you guys are gonna scavenger hunt around your house and your garage and find stuff that looks cool when you press it into clay. I've done anything from like the tops of cologne bottles, cause they're usually cool with cool textures on them, to just random stuff I found in my garage. So that's entirely up to you guys when we get to that. 
but sometimes you just find stuff and push it into clay and see what it looks like. And you know, sometimes it looks cool. And so our first project, we're gonna be working with that where you guys have to find tools and stuff around your house that you can use to impress into clay. All right, so wrapping up ceramics for Sheriff this morning. Here's the five tools you guys need to make. Rib tool, so something that you can use to smooth clay out. Credit cards work. Modeling tool, popsicle stick once again. Scoring tool, bunch of little toothpicks if you can. Needle tool, um, if the best you can do is a sharp pencil, that's the best we can do. Carving tools, paper clips, or paper clips tape the sticks, entirely up to you guys. So, thank you. I will see you guys later this week and have fun trying to find these around your house and making them. That's part of the fun. Bye.